a very good morning to all of you who are listening to this meditation this is the day the lord has made we will choose to be glad and happy in the lord because he is smiling on us and uh, let us spend this few minutes before we begin our activities today in meditating on god's word today's meditation is based on hebrews chapter 10 verse 25 where it says do not neglect the gathering together of the saints and especially so because the day is approaching very fast a disciple is one who learn to walk with jesus christ daily his is an ever expanding life the most important aspect of uh, such a life of a discipline is the discipline of worship worship has a double edge number one there is a daily worship as a private devotional practice and secondly there is regularly assembling together with the people of god in a congregation and this gathering of a people was never man's idea it was born from a loving heart of god almighty himself what is the purpose the idea of assembling together has nothing to do with number 1 keeping attendance record and number 2 getting a bigger congregation and number 3 a uh, swelling the bank account of the church so this coming together has nothing to do with any of these things and many people measure their success by co- fo- concentrating on these three points uh they boast about the attendance increase and they boast about a bigger or biggest congregation in the town or city or uh, how much bank balance the church has my friends you can have all this and yet that is not the measure of a success when god looks for success remember that the truth is the creator god wants to meet with us as his people as a corporate body as well as in private fellowship i spoke it haltingly for you to get the idea don't listen to your small still voice silence every argument against the coming together or gathering together if you are tired and if you are sick and if you are stumbling and if you are needful and if you have a bad attitude and if you are angry god says assemble it is in the environment of obedience i can deal with you in the presence of my people and in my sanctuary then i can refresh you and renew you and restore you where in an environment of obedience as you gather together with other brothers and sisters in your fellowship in the sanctuary of god Hebrew chapter 10 verse 25 shows it was a discipline problem even in the early church history there is a more sobering issue and that is expressed in these words and all the more as you see the day is approaching the command to assemble together 
has a reason and that reason is the truth that there is power in corporate worship when the people who love the lord and honor him by giving him the worship that due to him know this truth and especially when the body of christ come together in a corporate manner and raise their voices together and let the voice go upward to god as a pleasing aroma tremendous heavenly power is released upon the congregation and through the congregation upon the city or town or village or nation that you are in worship has that tremendous influence and that tremendous power the benefit of corporate worship is that it protects you from three things listen to this corporate worship offered in 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 our whole heart and strength and soul and spirit these are the benefits it will protect you number one from giving into the spirit of this world my friends be careful that uh, unaware if we are not careful unaware the spirit of the world can creep in our personal life as well as in our church life and the answer to this is come together and raise our voices in worship and in exalting our lord and our god when he is exalted he takes charge and where he is present no enemy can enter in number 2 such worship will protect you from losing touch with the spirit of anticipation of the return of the lord you know by the passing of time we can lose our focus and lose uh, the touch with this truth and with the spirit of anticipation blessed are those who Uh, wait for the appearance of the Lord Jesus Christ as promised and they expect his return and with that anticipation they rejoice they worship they exalt the Lord and thirdly such worship is going to protect you from uh neglecting our role as steward of a gifts for which we will be accountable when he comes not a single person in your congregation or in our churches is without a gift and some people without thinking much about it they simply say oh i don't have any gift i wish i have the same gift as, as that singer or that player of musical instruments or that teacher who can teach well or uh, uh, something else uh, give a, a, a testimony or exhortation like that people think these are only gifts there is no my friends you have a beautiful smile and you stand at the door as an usher you were smiling welcome will bring more people into the church than the music or the many years ago a survey was taken of many churches that are increasing and you know what they discovered in that survey 80% of people who come to a particular church not because of mess, sermon not because of music not because of choir not because of anything else but simply because of a smiling face welcoming people a newcomer especially coming into the church he immediately feels that he is wanted he is appreciated 
and that's what brings him back again and that is a gift that only you possess and to God it doesn't matter the man standing in the pulpit and preaches every Sunday you think that he is going to receive all the rewards and awards in heaven no my friends you can pray you don't have any other gift but you can pray and that prayer is the most important gift that God has given you your intercessory prayer you pray with tears and with the burden there is no other ministry greater than the ministry of prayer you pray for the pastors you pray for the big preachers their effectiveness is because you pray and remember you are given a gift and this anticipation of his coming expressed through your your enthusiastic worship will protect you from neglecting your role as a steward of gifts that God has imparted upon you so if you have a gift don't think singing is the only gift not think playing the musical instruments are the only gifts don't think telling a story is the only gift but you have a gift of touching people personally as no one else can that's a tremendous gift and so you look into yourself and discover the gift that god has placed in your heart in your life and as you give your worship unto god with the, with the people of god in the church you will be ready and prepared to give an account of a business you have done with your gift the expression the day approaching refers to the second coming of jesus christ for his church it is a matter of absolute obedience it is not just a, just just a ritual you need to be there when the saints are gathering you have to occupy your place no one else can fill that place come love sing give listen smile praise and worship worship him who sits on the throne look to jesus whose habit it was to go to church regularly some people foolishly say i don't go to church because church is full of hypocrites have you heard that expression yes i have many times people don't want to go to church that is only an excuse but suppose even if there are so many hypocrites so what jesus time the synagogues were filled with hypocrites pharisees he openly called them as hypocrites but that they did not stop him from going into the house of god who is controlling you the hypocrites are controlling your habit or the holy spirit is controlling your habit think deeply my friends never neglect coming together God will take care of the hypocrites but you be an honest sincere person offering unto him the worship hallelujah and getting ready for the coming of the lord which is going to happen very soon this is the day that you have been looking forward and as you anticipate the appearance of Jesus Christ be busy in serving the lord honor him by your worship utilize your gifts whatever it may be for the glory of god with a smiling face 
and you will be a blessing to so many. God bless you. And I pray that you will be a channel of God's blessing to so many people. Beyond your expectation. And only eternity will show how much God has used your talents. In Jesus' name, Amen. This is a good day and have a very good day. Enjoy this day. God bless you.